this is what Macmillan looks like with the filters turned on and uh, this is without any filters so the difference is quite uh, drastic very quick explanation of reshade it's an open source project to modify the looks of games this is commonly used in that data to make the colors a little bit more vibrant and the game more pleasant to look at all right, very quick tutorial on how to download Reshade and use it for Dead by Daylight. The first thing we will have to do is download the newest version of Reshade 5.92 for me. And now we have to start it. So we need to select the Dead by Daylight that we want to install Reshade for. This would be the Epic Games version, but we want to do go for this one. And yes, it's this option. And now this is the important part. We want to check every single box here. This is important because otherwise we are missing some of the shaders. Now these are going to be installing now. All right, reshade is finished installing already. One thing we need to do, however, is actually get the filters in. We have the program, but no filters. To do that, we click on our library properties on that by daylight, installed files, and now we want to browse the files. And over here, we go to Dead by Daylight, Binaries, Win64. And this is where we drag our reshade filters in. Those are mine. If you want to use them, you can find them in my Discord on the description. And we unzip this over here. We don't need this anymore. Now we have four files. So now we start Dead by Daylight. And as we start at the top, we can already see that it's compiling its effects. Very nice. And one thing we need to do is we need to press the home button. This window is going to pop up and we don't really need the tutorial. We can skip it. And now we have all of our presets right here. One thing that I would recommend, though, is to set up hotkeys. So there are different kind of hotkeys. Select the next presets. For hotkeys, I usually use page up and page down to switch between my filters on the different maps. To make sure that reshade runs properly, we need to put dash DX12 in the launch option of the game. Another really good map to showcase is a Borgo. This is how Borgo looks like without any filters. And this is what it looks like if you have the filters on. Quite a drastic difference and a lot less red. I personally love this a lot. All right, I hope this helps you guys. See you next time.